Bosch 2.5 amp sander and the Milwaukee 3 amp sander. These both take 5 inch uh, sanding pads and they both cost $79. So at the store, looking at them both, not sure which one to get. I got both because I'm going to use a lot of sanders and I just want to see which of these is going to work better for us. So pretty similar setups, both eight hole sandpaper. Uh, the Bosch looks like it's got a little bit fancier. Um, let's see how this comes off. A little bit fancier filter system. There's a lot going on there. And the Milwaukee is a little bit simpler. Just filter on the top with Yeah, ribbed filter on the top, dust holder on the bottom, simple layout. This one, filter on the top uh, with a through port for the dust, and then uh, kind of, wow, very odd, odd setup here where you've got the dust coming up through here and then dropping down into these two holders at the bottom. Both are very similar weight, uh, so that's not going to be much of a difference between the two. I'm going to throw the same paper onto both of these, and then we're going to test them out on the board and see if there's any difference that we can tell between the two. We've got a little chunk of black walnut here, so I just want to kind of see how these feel. Um, we'll start with the Bosch. I barely touch it at all to move uh, one direction or the other. Like I can probably direct this with two fingers, and it's just, yeah, just needs the slightest idea of going a certain direction and follows there really smoothly. So that's really great. Letting go, doesn't spin around, doesn't go crazy. Really well balanced tool. I like that one a lot. Um, let's go down the board a little bit. We're gonna try the Milwaukee now. Comes on again. Super Feels super well balanced, not too squirrely, you know, moves a little bit, and super light touch to move that. And it's uh, it's doing quite a good job here. Both of these are variable speeds, so I'm gonna crank up the speed on this one all the way to six, uh, the high speed, and still very controllable. We're cruising on uh, standing, I'm not seeing a major difference between these two. I wanna try the Bosch on its higher speed setting see oh yeah we were we were starting at six before with the Bosch low speed seems like it's hardly doing anything on this guy and the lower end just feels very very light I'm not impressed with the low end up at the six both these are pretty darn quiet and uh, does a good job it seems like the Bosch has a little bit less power when we're at the top of our uh, Top speed here. The Milwaukee's definitely a little louder, but it is drawing more like amps, so as expected, there seems to be a little bit more power there. Very similar tools, though. Um, I'm happy with each. Hard to pick between the two of these guys. Okay, so in conclusion, the dust collection doesn't seem to be quite as good for the Bosch. And it's a little bit less power. I think it's 2.5 amps versus the 3 amps on the Milwaukee. Being that they're exactly the same price, get that extra half an amp of power and get the slightly better, slightly uh, simpler dust collection setup, I think you'll be happier. Both good tools, the Milwaukee wins out.